Today we're going to be taking a look at my after holiday sale Christmas light grab. And this is not all from one big grab, probably about two or three. Some of this stuff I got for 50% off, a lot of it I got for 75% off. Usually Home Depot and Lowe's, Walmart, places like that, they have their sales go really cheap the day after Christmas. So if you're looking for some good deals on some lights, head to those places December 26th. First off, I got these large, large, large LED lights. I got them hung from my tree. They were, turned out pretty good. Kind of expensive for what they were, but I like the way it looked and they turned out well. So I grabbed, I grabbed five of each color. Next season, I'm gonna try to hang them with some of this. It's a tarred nylon line. A lot of people call it bank line. So we'll see how well that does. And I got some 150 count miniature light spools. A couple of those. 150 count spools of C5 multicolor. 75 count spool of C9s. I also grabbed two tree stars. Don't know why I grabbed them. I think they're pretty cheap. Might just use one each year or rotate them out. I don't know. Got these icicle lights. And I believe these do the, what they call like a meteor, where it actually goes from top to bottom. I figured I'd try them out in a couple places or see how they do. Then I got some eight count dual color snowflakes. Might hang them across some trees. in my big tree in the front yard. Then my C9s, I got 25 count boxes of C9 LED multicolor. Got a couple boxes of those. And the 25 LED count C9 clears. Got a couple boxes of those. Those seem to go up pretty quickly. So if you're looking for those, get those quick. Then I got the 25 count LED C9s with the facet lights. They call it a facet light. And got a couple boxes of those. About six boxes of those. Got one box, same thing but clear. Those seem to go pretty quickly too. The clear C9 lights seem to go pretty quickly. And I got two of these. It's a 50 count LED garland. Changes colors. I got two posts in front of my front door, my little porch. I'm going to put them wrap it around next year. On to my smaller lights. I got 100 count boxes of C6 colors. Got 100 count of the miniature lights, little facets on them. Now these are actually the sparkle effect. I'm going to wrap these around the big oak tree in my front yard and, and intertwine them with the other lights. This is a warm white, so it'll actually blend in pretty good but have the little sparkle effect. I think it's going to turn out pretty well. 100 count LEDs, miniature lights. Yeah, you never have enough of those. Now I grab some 50 counts, a couple boxes of those. 100 count LED miniature lights. Got about seven boxes of those. And then the same thing in a 50 count. Got about eight boxes of those. And here's some C5 LEDs. I have these in a few places around my yard and they seem to do pretty good. Try them out. Now these are some pearl lights. I got a set of these, but they're red in one of the small bushes I got. And they, they turn out pretty interesting looking. So I found these white ones. I figured I'd try to give them, give them a shot. And on to the accessories. Got a 100 foot extension cord. I don't know why I bought it because I'm making my own this time. But these right here, it's a triple tap, 25 foot cord, but it has a three outlet on the end of it instead of a single outlet. These actually went down to $3 and I think 50 cents or 75 cents. So I grabbed four of them. Even if I don't use them in my Christmas lights, they'll be handy around the house, in the yard, so on. Never can I have enough roof clips, gutter clips. I got about 600 of them. I think I pay about a dollar and a half for these, dollar seventy-five for this, each one of these boxes, so not a bad deal. I had pretty good luck with them, so I'm gonna keep on try, keep on using them. And these were something new, never seen before. It's a dual-purpose lawn stake. Yeah, you know, like like these, they were pretty cheap too. You can use them for lights, 
or you can use them to tie down your inflatables or other things that need to be tied down. A couple different options you can use with them. So, yeah, you know, for less than two bucks, I think I'll just give them a shot. If they don't work, that ain't out a whole lot of money. Then I got some of the basic multi-purpose light stakes, 25 count boxes. I got five boxes of them. Now, if you're going to get these, go ahead and get you a little rubber, rubber made tote or a hefty tote. The boxes aren't on. These are not very good. They're not going to store up well through the season. And last but not least, I got this haul of rope spools. Went to my local Lowe's. We're in January and they were changing out the rope and some of the chain and accessories and stuff and they were changing vendors, I guess. And I got a bunch of these, they let me have them. Some of them are plastic. Got a little bit of a laminated cardboard center. I think these are gonna do pretty well. These right here got a little plywood on them. Cardboard in the middle. I'm not sure how well they're gonna do, but at least it'll last me for a couple seasons, so. Overall, I think I did pretty well. I want to say this is probably, I want to say about $200, $250 worth of stuff that I paid for. That's cost, my cost. And if I would have bought this at full price, it's probably easily $1,000, if not more. And one other thing I got was this GE tree. I think it's a seven and a half foot. It has the eight function lights. They change colors and do all kinds of stuff. This is a $300 tree, I think it is, and I pay a little bit less than $75 for it. This is probably one of my better deals that I got. Uh, the tree we have in our house was getting pretty old. Wasn't, wasn't real nice. You know, just a good starter tree from whenever we got our house here years ago. But I think this tree's gonna look a lot nicer, and for the money, I can't beat it. So this has been a look at my 2019 end of season Christmas light haul. If you want some really good deals, catch your Lowe's, Walmart, Target, places like that that sell Christmas lights. Usually before Christmas, they'll start doing half off. And usually after Christmas, they do 75% off. I noticed Walmart, they don't, dec they don't discount there as much before Christmas. They try to get every nickel and dime they can out of you. And then I think after Christmas, it's still not 75% off for a while. So... If you're looking for the best deals, you use at Lowe's and Home Depot. And uh, Target does a decent deal, but they're not as good as Home Depot and Lowe's is. Another tip I learned with a lot of these GE lights, um, if you have warranty issues with them, um, I heard for the grapevine that you have to keep the boxes for them and the receipts. So I have a tote that I'm going to put all my boxes in. I'm going to fold them down, break them down, keep my boxes and my receipts. So if I have any issues with them, I shouldn't have any problem getting my warranty claim done for GE or anything like that. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching and I look forward to seeing what I can come up with 2020's light show. With all these lights, I think it's going to be a good one. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.